there's a reality that's beyond events, which is Tesla has not been executing very well at all. And now, you know, they're behind in a race for a very difficult business, which is RoboTaxi. And I think really focusing on robots and trying to refocus the story of Tesla around robots in a lot of ways is a distraction from the very stark reality that Elon's behavior has turned off the core demographic of EV buyers in the world other than in China. And unfortunately, the other two thirds of the world pretty much don't want anything to do with him or his product. So this is a very difficult time because Tesla makes the best EV vehicles in the world, and yet it has the worst marketing CEO anybody could ever ask for. Mm. Seems like your tone on Tesla has changed, Ross. What's your position now on the stock? Well, we own Tesla still, and, and of course, as I said, I think they make the best vehicles in the, in the entire EV space by far, and they have the best technology, and they obviously have the potential, if they can get full self-driving to work, to uh, really you know own the autonomy business uh, for selling cars. But when you're talking about robo-taxis, I just don't like this business. I, Google's in this business, Uber's in this business. They're, you know, Uber's very good at what they do. I'm an owner of this company as well as Google. Um, today, every day I see Waymo's. I live in Santa Monica, California. There's Waymo's everywhere, okay? They work. Robotaxi solved and it's solved by Google. So what Tesla's trying to do is dive into a business that's already been solved by somebody else and they'll be quite late. And, and yet I ask constantly to anybody who's a big supporter of this idea is, where are they gonna get the customers? Because the customers are very expensive to get. And it's not like people are just gonna migrate to Tesla because they like Elon. Yeah, you said the price point was also uh, a sticking point in this whole saga, in this whole story, in terms of you know, just 25,000 for a robo taxi, that doesn't make sense economically. Well, right, and also because you can buy a Model Y for 25,000 online, there's tons of them. They're used, they're three years old, and they work just like a new car. You know, Teslas don't really depreciate. They, they really keep driving for, it seems like, forever. So, you know, right now you can go online, buy a great Tesla for $25,000, $26,000. So I think the issue to me is, are they going to make a compelling vehicle for $25,000 that people are going to buy when people aren't buying cars that they've got today? So, so he's got to open new markets or he's got to find somebody who wants to buy his cars because the, when you say 62% of Republicans are happy with Elon, you know, what percentage of them own an EV or plan on buying an EV? That's the question people should be asking. But it's clear what Musk's ambitions are and it has nothing to do with Tesla.